another homesteader adventure. We're going to Tennessee. Two things are different this time. One, you notice we don't have to wear masks anymore. So weird. Uh, this feels so good just to have my face open. Second thing that's different is, uh, so we're going to the second annual Homesteader of America conference in Tennessee at Rory Feek's place. We're filming the official recap for HOA, which is crazy. We're super nervous. Um, we have to talk to people that we feel are like heroes to us, so there's a lot of nervousness. The kids and my brother's kids that we're taking care of are all being taken care of by AJ. No, they're not. <laughs> Grandma. Uh, the grandmas. The grandmas are all involved in taking care of them. We're so thankful for them. Bless you, grandmas. We are just grateful and anxious, and uh, we're going to try to have a really good time and not be super anxious. But uh, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Super early in the morning. Man, I wish I got some more sleep. But there's no time to worry about that now. Big things to do at Homesteaders of America. The second annual Tennessee version of Homesteaders of America. It's going to be amazing. In original Eye, we have the exclusive opportunity to bring you the nitty gritty the inside workings of how it is. If you've never been to one before, you're gonna be to one because we're gonna make it look so fantastic. You're, you're not gonna believe it. Okay, y'all, before it starts, we wanted to give you guys a tour, so I'm gonna do a little pano real quick. <laughs> Just a full 360, so you get the idea of where we're at. Sorry if you feel sick. I'm gonna stop in just a second. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is the one-room schoolhouse. We'll take you over there. I just want you guys to have a an idea of where everything's at. So the barns are over here. Um, right next to the schoolhouse is the this is a parking lot for Rory Feek's place, but all the vendors, so all the cool stuff being sold is here. This is where Rachel spends all her money, especially on tubes. On what? Not good stuff, what are yeah. you talking about? So next to the vendors is Homestead Hall. And, ooh, that's a horrible view. Let's walk over here. I gotta like... 
Okay, a little bit better. <laughs> this is where uh, this is where Rory puts on his concerts, but it's also where the Q and A is all going to happen in here. Um, so that's you know the great thing about this HOA is it's such a small group of people that it's much more intimate than something like the Virginia HOA, which is fantastic as well. But it's just a crowd compared to you know, just everybody strolling through, buying things, meeting people, getting lemonade. They have good lemonade. Yeah. But you don't you don't drink lemonade at 7:30. No. We'll wait till noon. <laughs> so while I'm up here, all the way down here in the pasture is where. Uh, tent A and B are, and these are going to be where the uh, the different speakers will be speaking. <laughs> That's where all the speakers talk, and you sit and listen to them. It's amazing. It's where there's lots of chairs and a tent, and you you just sit and listen and take notes from amazing people who know amazing things. And it sounds really lame when I put it that way, but that's where all the knowledge happens. I mean, Rachel's laughing at me, but you know what I'm saying. Give me a high five, high five. So tired. Go get something to eat and go to bed early. We'll see you tomorrow. sleep last night um, it was hotter than heck but um, so I spent this morning getting a little drone footage uh, this MDX has like I mean this spaceship car has so many little pockets in there I call this my drone pocket it was like it was made just like a little pocket in there for my drone so um, got that footage on my way to interview some people. I think Rachel is getting um, debriefed. She's doing kid stutters this morning with Anne from Farm Girl in the Making. Um, kid stutters is a, it's where all the kids play and the kids learn. They get like little sessions with the speakers like Joel Salatin, I think he's talking about poop. Who doesn't want to listen about poop? Does it smell a little? So does it slowly, yeah. Joel? Does have, it yeah, yeah, be, it because goes, as yeah. it decomposes, yeah. all of that nutrient that you smell, like which is ammonia and things, that what you're smelling is nutrient. That nutrient gradually gets pulled by all this life that we're seeing. That life pulls the nutrient back into the, back back into the, back into the, the ground, okay?
on these bees for like 30 minutes. It's insane. She's going to be a beekeeper for sure. But if it fits into her farm, we'll do it. She wants to do the work. Yeah. I'll just take the honey. She could take care of all the bees. <laughs> So that little Katahdin sheep is Anne's from Farm Girl in the Making. It's a little bottle baby <laughs> that her husband's watching here. Uh, cute as can be, oh my gosh. Um, so my suggestion, any single dude watching this video, forget the dog, forget the puppy. A little baby lamb will attract more chicks than any puppy. I love my bag. Okay guys. <laughs> we, we love each other. <laughs> so we finally have reunited because all morning we've kind of been separated because Rachel has been with the kid stutters working with Anne from Farm Girl in the Making. Yep. Um, what, what is kid stutters? Kid stutters is an area where you can go and take your kids <coughs> and they can do crafts and they get to learn from the speakers and it's just super fun. So. Yeah. So this is not just all lectures and things like that. There's so many fun activities yeah. for everybody to do. It's fun. We like coming to these things, they're fun. Yeah. So, and the community, the community that's built, I think that's like one of the main reasons. I mean, we've said it before, we love the community. So, it's a big deal. We love it. I guess let's go sneak into the Q&A. I haven't had cows in my farm since like 89. So, like, like the neighbor farmers say, oh my hay is junk, junk hay. Now, Joel has a lot of experience with neglected farms. What's the best step, and whoever can answer, where should I start getting the fields ready for cattle? I think I want a rotational graze. I haven't studied it yet, but it sounds like a great idea. Definitely want a rotational graze, or they will continue to go downhill, because uh, cows will continue to eat the best stuff, and it will get weaker and weaker, and the good stuff will get long and go to sea and continue to proliferate. So, uh, so where you start is with control. If you don't have control, you've got nothing. That's more important than breed. Um, so control requires a, uh, some sort of a fencing uh, system, uh, whether you make it all temporary. Um, my counsel is always don't put any, if you're a novice and you don't know where to put fence, uh, this is an electric fence, um, don't do anything permanent for three years. What you don't use, what you don't move in three years, then make that permanent. Sum it off, but eventually Stacy and I are planning on having these kind of events right in our place and go through our systems. Right? Play the spectro. Drink it as a hot beverage. I mean, I used to drink it every day when I was teaching school. This is my favorite season now. It used to be hunting season. Now it's swarm season. Putting in a lot of crops, depending on if you're doing spring, summer, and fall gardening. It's over. It's over. <laughs> well, we're sad, but we're leaving here with full hearts and full minds. So coming to these classes, coming to the Homesteaders of America is so valuable because you get to take those little nuggets that are gonna work on your homestead, take them back, put them to work, and make your farm a better place. What was one of your favorite things? My favorite thing was Daniel Salatin's talk on how to make a family farm and a family enterprise work. I like doing kid stutters, but I also geeked out really bad on the bees. Because we just got bees. Oh my gosh. He, Aaron was like, why are you still over there? I was over there for like, ever. Bees are fascinating. I'm, I'm a little tiny bit intimidated. And I saw a look in Rachel's eye. <laughs> 
and I just had this image of 20 hives in our yard. So stay tuned for that. I'm ah! sure it's gonna happen. <laughs> so, I know, and he's gonna build me some hives now. Adam with Bee Kept, I love you and I hate you. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with us this weekend. Everybody here is quality human. Everybody here is trying to do what's best. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, send this video to somebody who wants to go to a homesteading conference, but never will. It makes all these excuses all the time, but they should go. Thank you. We love you. Take care. We'll see you later.